good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamads, on the Minecraft Survival Manual. We are going to talk today about how to protect yourself and fight back. And what we're going to do is make ourselves some armor and investigate what that armor is worth. So let's grab ourselves some materials. Now there are a number of different types of armor that you can make. You can make leather armor, you can make iron armor, you can make gold armor, and you can make diamond armor. Now we don't have any gold and we don't have any diamonds. Gold armor isn't really that good. Diamond armor is awesome, but it's very expensive. But what we do have is we have leather and we have iron. So I'm gonna show you how to make the different types of armor. Let's start at the top. So a cap is like a short horseshoe. So let's grab a cap there. We've got a tunic which is almost the full nine, but with the top one taken off, that's where your head comes out. Then we've got our leggings, which is a long horseshoe. And then we have also some boots, which is just two lots of two. And you do that like that. The iron is exactly the same recipe, but obviously you have to use iron instead of using leather. Otherwise you end up with more leather. If I put a leather cap on my head, you will notice on the left hand side at the bottom, I've got half of my little suit has been covered up in what's effectively armor. That means that's worth half an armor point there. If I take that cap off and I put on some boots, that's also worth half an armor point. If I put on some leather leggings, that's worth a full armor point. And if I put on the leather tunic, that's worth one and a half armor points. So you can see leathers, it's worth having. It does give you some protection, but it doesn't give you a lot. If we talk about iron, so an iron hat is one whole armor point. Iron boots, exactly the same. Leggings, two and a half armor points. So iron is significantly better there. And look, that's three full armor points for our chest plate. So iron is officially double the worth of leather. However, leather is a lot easier to get at the beginning. Just kill a few cows and you're away. What you are also able to do is to make different colored leather armor. And I'll show you how to do that now. What I'm doing at the moment is I am smelting up some cobblestone, which gives me stone. So stone is the block that you actually do mine out. But when you mine with a normal pick, you get cobblestone. Stone is actually a really useful thing to have because you can make some stone slabs and it just makes for a better texture. But what you can also do is if you pop it in here, you can smelt up the stone and get a different block again. And that different block is called, drum roll, smooth stone so i'm just going to get a little bit of smooth stone i need three blocks of smooth stone and that is three blocks of smooth stone you can see it's a very different look to the normal stone and then we can come into the crafting table and we can make ourselves smooth stone slabs so if i put those three in there we have a smooth stone slab which is actually the same texture as the 113 stone slab what it used to look like stone slab now looks much more in keeping with its original block here that stone that stone slab this is smooth stone slab so i'm going to get that but that is not why i want i don't want to make buildings with it i want to make something quite interesting so i put one of those there i put sticks around it like this and what i get is an armor stand and now that armor stand is going to allow me to display my armor and i can put the armor stand there and then if I want to, I can display this leather armor by selecting it, right clicking on the armor stand, and then doing that for all of the items of armor like that. Now the one final thing we can do with this armor is make it nice colors. So you can differentiate between, oh, I want my blue armor today. Oh, I want my red armor today. So I'm just gonna take this oxide daisy because that'll give me a dye. I'm gonna click that oxide daisy into the crafting table, which gives me light gray dye. I'm then going to take, using right click, I'm gonna take that helmet off, pop it into the crafting table, put a leather cap there, and that light gray dye there, it gives me a dyed cap. So if I take that off and pop that back on, you can see it's a different color. The same is true if we were to go, let's go blue, do that, I can have dyed boots. So I can pop those boots back on to the, uh, the armor stand. You can see you make lots of lovely different colors for your armor. So that remains for us to put the armor on. And there's a couple of ways in which you can put the armor on. If you've got your display up, you can select the armor. So if I select the chest plate there, if I right click with that chest plate, that puts it on for me. And again, I can do that perhaps with the boots, puts it on for me. Or you can come into your section here and you can 
drag it over or you can shift click it over you've got lots of different options and that is what you look like with your iron armor you can enchant your armor we're going to talk about enchantments a little bit further on but that makes the armor even more strong so now what we've got to do is go and find something to bash i've got an iron sword i've got an iron axe we know that an axe actually deals more damage than a sword but a sword can hit more than one opponent at the same time so it depends on what you're fighting let's wait for the sun to go down and we're going to go and get them it is night time and we are in search of nasties and hopefully there'll be some around here a spider would be a really good thing because then we can get some string and with some string we can make a different type of weapon the bow so there's one string we're going to need three strings to make a bow so hopefully we can find a couple more spiders there's one and you can if you remember if you jump and hit on the way down you get a critical hit we've got a creeper here creepers you need to be very careful because they like to explode if you're not careful bang like that but if you're far enough away that is not a problem the sun is coming up so we've come back to base so we can craft ourselves the thing we want to craft it is a bow very exciting so bows are great because you can shoot things from a long way away without putting yourself in any danger clicking on there and you can see it's three sticks and three string those three string we just got from those spiders that gives me a bow i like to put my bow in slot number five we also have just a very few arrows now one shot is one arrow unless you get some enchantments called infinity which means you only need one arrow to keep shooting what i'm also going to craft is a shield so again come into your crafting table and you can find the shield in the weapon section there here is the shield give it a click and you can see you are using six pieces of wood six wooden planks and one iron ingot there gives you a shield and a shield is incredibly useful in combat. If you right click with your shield, you find that you've got excellent protection against blasts from creepers, arrows from skeletons, and good news knows what else. Stick your shield in your shield slot right there, and you can see on your avatar, you are holding a shield. And if I then turn myself around, and I put up my shield with my right mouse button, you can see that covers most of my body and gives you really great protection. The sun's going down again so we're going to venture out i forgot actually that i had a bow that i got from the skeleton that attacked us in a couple of uh, episodes ago those four horsemen they dropped a really nice bow bow with power one almost a dead bow with power one but a bow with power one nevertheless i'm not going to use it because i can fix that and give myself a full enchanted bow with power one fairly shortly but what i'm going to use is this bow to start and try and shoot things so we're going to go hunting now while you're out it's always good to use your time well so why don't we gather a little bit more wood resource gathering whilst we're hunting We've got a creeper here and I will show you what I mean by this shield. If I hit it and then put that past up, look, I barely lost anything. But I am also being hit by a skeleton. Now skeletons are great because I can block him like that and then come at him with my sword. And get him like that now i made a real meal of that actually it's very difficult to have a bow at the same time as a blocking with your sword in terms of your bow you can aim by right clicking you can see it pulls it all the way back then if you change your hand then it just drops the bow the alternative is you can pull it all the way back you can fire it and then you can pick it up afterwards as well we are back at the house but you can see we took quite a lot of damage there now we have some food if we fill up our food bar by eating 
that will start to regenerate those hearts. You can see they're popping themselves across there. They regenerate quickly at first and then a little bit more slowly. That regeneration also uses up hunger, so you may find that you need to eat something else if you've lost a lot of hearts. So as you can see, I am peppered with the arrows that that skeleton threw at me because I wasn't quick enough with my shield and the llama seems quite interested in the fact that I've got a number of arrows on me. So I'll just get out of his way before he spits at me. That is armor and combat. Hopefully that makes a lot of sense. Swords, axes, bows and arrows, shields and armor. Really very useful in your Minecraft survival game. If you have enjoyed that video, make sure you go and see what Frilioth has done in his version of this, which should be released now and the link is in the description below. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying them and we will keep on making them. And hit that subscribe. It'd be great to see you in our sub clubs and we look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.